Today we're going to make pork pesto. We're going to cut open our pork loin. It's just regular from the store, fresh out of the bag. Now, I like to remove this fat cap up here. Kind of makes for a little bit cleaner looking meat. You don't have to cut it off if you don't want. You don't have to be too nice about getting it. Just cut off what you can. I find it's easier to cut stuff away from me, so I'll spin it around, cut the next bit off, and I'm not trying to make this fat completely gone, I just want to get a bulk of it off, and to feel around the rest, see if there's any parts that you need to pull off. Then we're going to take our knife and we're going to kind of cut into it, we're going to start opening it up, we want to unroll it. So it's right there, it's just waiting for you to get your knife in there, feel it out. So we're going to cut this side so we can get it to lay down there and we're going to come right back in on the same section we were just cutting from and start cutting the other direction and just keep kind of working this back and forth until we get our cuts in deep enough and you want to be real careful at both the ends so if you cut too far you've pretty much just laid it and you got to extra piece of meat to cut. So here we got it nice and laid flat. I'm going to go for some Classico right out of the jar. Basil pesto. Uh, you can make your own for purposes of this, this video. This is fine. So we're just going to gallop a bunch on. We're going to spread it around. Make sure we have enough. If we don't have enough we'll just go get some more. I get the little jars because they serve one purpose. When I'm done get rid of it. My spoon's been near pork, it's touched pork, uh, and you're just not a whole lot you can do with just a little dabble of pesto left. So use what you can, throw away the rest. No sense in getting anybody sick later down the road. Let's set that aside. Now we got it nice and layered out. We're going to just take it and roll it right back into itself, kind of the same way that it was. And I give it a little turn. You can get fancy with your rope here. You can do the whole one piece of rope does the whole thing. I kind of pre-cut these. And I'm just going to do a real quick little same way you tie your shoe knot. You can get as fancy with the knots as you want. In this house we're more worried about flavor than the whole presentation thing. We do worry about presentation, but you know, it definitely comes second. We'd rather our food taste good and than, uh, than look pretty and not taste good. So you only need a couple little strings on this. And then I've already lit my smoker behind me here. So once we get all this tied off, uh, smoker's already ready to go. We'll move it right over. And, uh, got the smoker set. I like to smoke around 300 degrees. Uh, helps cook it up a little bit faster. And we want to get some seasoning on here. We get our season all, garlic powder, just simple. A little bit of pepper on top three seasons you're done kind of pat it in get it moved around transfer it to another tray move our cutting board back there kind of get hands cleaned up get uh, all kinds of gunk on it from touching that and do the same spices on it again now it's pretty much ready for the smoker so smoker, just offset smoker, charcoal is already going in it. We're going to take our pork loin here, we're going to dump it right out of the tray. Put it somewhat, somewhat close to the opening. Uh, if you have all day to wait for something like this, that's fine. But you know, if you want to just get something done in just a handful of hours, this is a good way to get some smoke flavor in. So today we're going to use some hickory wood chunks. You can use whatever kind of wood chunks works best for you, whatever your flair is. There we go. Open it up and we just set it right in on top of our coals. Let it start smoking. Uh, we're going to smoke this for about two hours. And here we are at the end of the two hours. We've applied our wood chunks as necessary to keep it flowing. We know it's not done. It's not close to being done. But we have some smoke flavor embedded into this. So now I've lit my five burner grill. 
aka the big dog got it on the nice low we're just going to move that pork loin over set it right on the grates there and we'll keep checking back i'm a fan of flipping often so i'll show you a couple of times of flipping it and uh here's the temperature on it it's up to around 110 111 so we still got a little bit of ways to go on this so stick around be right back Yeah, it's a little bit darker. We're still rolling this temperature about 300 degrees. No more smoke. We're flipping it for the first time. Let's kind of take a peek at it. Close it back up. Take it off in uh, another little bit. Okay, it kind of got dark. We got flashlight out here with the camera. This thing has been checked. It's uh, good to go. Thanks for watching.